Hello, Manchester City fans. Today, we've got an exclusive scoop on the latest showdown against Brighton, where City unveiled a flawless game plan without Erling Haaland, and Pep Guardiola made me rethink everything. Manchester City reclaimed their fluid brilliance against Brighton, intriguingly, without Erling Haaland in the mix. At the Amex Stadium, we had a bird's-eye view of the team's tactics. We witnessed City's versatility, with Nathan Ake shining as a lone defensive wall, while Kyle Walker surged forward on the right, Manu Akanji and Rodri held the fort in the middle, and Josko Guardiol maneuvered on the left. And when Brighton snatched possession, these three seamlessly morphed into a solid four-man defense. Walker stood out as the furthest man upfield, stretching Brighton's defense wide and seeking those trademark Ederson long balls. This strategy paid off with another goal against the Seagulls in the second half. Playing without Holland allowed Kevin De Bruyne and Phil Foden to dominate the midfield. It was one of their finest displays together on the pitch in a while, and Holland's absence didn't seem like a coincidence. Guardiola was crystal clear about Holland's absence. The coach knows Holland brings more to the table than mere statistics show. The Brighton game showcased how Alvarez, De Bruyne, and Foden can seamlessly interchange. Overall, the performance in Brighton gave us an effective plan B. Guardiola may see the game differently, but this tactic could be a valuable alternative moving forward. Now, fellow fans, what did you make of our performance against Brighton? How do you think we can deploy this strategy in future matches? Share your thoughts in the comments. Subscribe to the channel for more updates and news on Manchester City. Let's stand together and support our team in every match. See you next time.